जामहे सगंधिम पुष्टि Namaste. The great masters of yoga and of many spiritual traditions have said that the, gr- the only way we achieve the state of yoga, the state of union with God, is through divine grace. Paramahansa Yogananda put it this way. He said that the spiritual path is 25% our effort, 25% the Guru's effort on our behalf, and 50% the grace of God. But how do we, how does that grace happen? Well, it's happening all the time. It's really a question of whether or not we're receptive to it. And the way we can be receptive to it is to give to God in return. As the prayer of St. Francis goes, it is in giving that we receive. So in our practice in this class, offer on giving. What can you offer through your practice? Love, gratitude, what can you give back to the divine? Not just like a merchant, so then I will draw God's grace, but to to get into that flow of grace, the flow of divine joy that is always happening, that is your true nature. We're going to begin with the energization exercises of Paramahansa Gunanda. Melody will be assisting in the class today. These exercises are a way to draw grace, that it is Paramahansa Yogananda through whom the grace of the Guru, through whom these techniques have come and to practice the techniques that he gave is a way to draw the grace of the Guru into our life. If you've not learned these techniques yet, please go to our website and uh, learn how to do them. Just remember that we use a double breath with many of them, a short, long inhale through the nose, followed by a short, long exhale through nose and mouth. Full tension in the body, squeezing all the body parts, full relaxation. So let's close the eyes, just stand upright for a moment, turn the gaze to the point between the eyebrows, the spiritual eye, and let's begin energization with a prayer. You can pray responsibly with me if you'd like. O infinite spirit, Recharge my body with thy cosmic energy, my mind with thy concentration, my soul with thy ever new joy. O eternal youth of body and mind, abide in me forever and forever. Om. Amen. Let's open the eyes, palms together, double inhale, squeeze an upward wave of tension, double exhale, up, downward wave of relaxation. One more, really squeeze fully, relax completely. Calf recharging in the left side will be your mirror image. Standing on the right foot, squeeze the left calf up, relax, squeeze down, relax. Squeeze up, relax, and down. Once more up, once more down. Hold the foot up behind, ankle rotation with tension around the ankle. Great, let's do the other side. Calf first, three times, squeezing as you move, relaxing at the end of the movement. Then ankle rotation. All right, left foot forward. Calf and forearm on the left side, squeeze till you vibrate and release. Thigh and upper arm, and release. Calf and forearm, relax. Thigh and upper arm. Once more, calf and forearm, thigh and upper arm, relax. Let's do the right side. Then get to maximum tension, complete relaxation. Calf and forearm, relax, thigh and upper arm. Two more, tense with will, relax and feel. Get the energy pouring through the body. Both sides, calves and forearms, thighs and upper arms. 
Two more. All right, left buttock, left side of chest. Squeeze and release. Right buttock and right side of chest. And left side. Right side. One more each side. Now tense the lower left back, squeeze and release, lower right back and release. And left, relax. And right side, once more in the left and the right. Middle back now on the left side, right side. And two more. Just alternating sides. Full tension, complete relaxation. Upper back on the left side, and the right side, and left, and right. One more time. Shoulder rotation, tension through the shoulders as we rotate one direction. And the opposite. Throat recharging, tense front and relax. And again, and one more time. Now just the left side of the neck, squeeze and release. Right side and release. Left and right. Once more each side. Release the chin, double inhale, tense the back of the neck as you lift the head, double exhale as you relax down. <sighs> Circles with the head and neck now with tension throughout the neck. One direction and the other. And now without tension, one way. And the other. Okay, separate the feet comfortably apart and twisting hips and shoulders opposite ways. We bring the shoulders around in front, head facing forward the whole time. All right, hands in the rim of the pelvis. Arch the spine as you circle the upper body one direction. Keep it moving as a single unit. Reverse. And now side to side. Tension around the spine. Squeezing all the muscles around the spine. Energizing the spine. All right, let's adjust the individual vertebra. Fists and the low back. Then forward. Push up and in. Work your way up the spine. So you've gone as high as you can go. All right, upper spinal twist, arms in front, tense back to one side, relax forward, tense to the other, relax. Hips don't move, just the upper body moves. Follow the hands with your eyes. Okay, with the knuckles briskly wrapping the skull, waking the brain cells. And then scalp massage, moving scalp over surface of skull. Really dig in and not only loosen it, but energize the brain through the magnetic force of the hands. Massage in the medulla oblongata, first three fingers of each hand. At the medulla, just below the skull behind, circling one direction, circling the other, Double inhale, tense back against the resistance of your fingers. Double exhale forward. Back to neutral, circling one way, circling the other way. Double inhale, tense. Double exhale, and relax. One more time, circling.
interlaced fingers over the head for bicep recharging. On the left side, squeeze and release. On the right side, and release. Left bicep, vibrate with energy. Relax, right. Let's feel your energy building here as we go through this left and right. Relax the hands down. Deep double inhalation. Hold and squeeze the whole body. Vibrate with energy even more. Squeeze everything as hard as you can. Double exhale and relax. Now the individual body parts. Left foot. Squeeze. Curl the toes. Relax. Right foot. And relax. Left calf. Relax. Right calf. Left thigh, relax, right side. Left buttock, relax, right. Lower abdomen, below the navel. Upper abdomen, squeeze it in, relax. Left forearm, right forearm. Left upper arm, right side. Left side of chest, right. Left side of neck, right, front of neck, back of neck, and relax. Holding the tension in the same body parts this time. When you get to the top, the whole body will be tensed. Relax by releasing the entire neck at once. Drop the chin and relax the other parts in reverse order, keeping the chin down. Let's do it. Tense the left foot, hold the tension. Right foot, hold. Left calf, right calf. Left thigh, right. Left buttock, right. Lower abdomen, upper. Left forearm, right. Left upper arm, right. Left chest, right. Left neck, right. Front, back, everything. Squeeze even more. Charge the body with energy. And release the neck, chin to chest, right chest, left, right upper arm, left, right forearm, left, upper abdomen, lower, right buttock, left, right thigh, left, right calf, left, right foot, left, double inhale, squeeze the whole body, double exhale, and relax. Weight lifting at the sides, squeeze up, release, squeeze down, optional double inhale, double exhale down. Elbows in front now together. Double inhale, tense up in a wave. Double exhale, relax down in a wave. One more. Arms out to the side. Squeeze in and relax and squeeze out. Relax. Optional double inhale and double exhale. One more. Small circles of the arms with tension through the arms, fists facing up. And relax in reverse direction. And relax. Fist to the forehead, elbows pointing ahead. Tense forward, relax, pull back. Relax. Optional double exhale, double inhale. One more. Arms down at your sides, finger recharging, lots of energy in the hands, opening and closing, out to the sides, in front, overhead, and relax down, four part arm recharging. So it's not just movements, but we're tensing on these movements except for the last. One more time. Single arm and shoulder, left side. Squeeze up with a double inhale. Relax down on the double exhale. And side to side. Once more each side. Walking in place. Lift the knees high, swinging the arms. 
Remember what this is all about. This is not just about techniques. Okay, techniques are here to help purify us so that we can receive grace. We don't conquer heaven through techniques. Getting our energy moving through these exercises, this is a, a very important step toward being able to receive grace, having a higher level of energy and offering that energy. Let's run in place now, lifting the heels up behind as well as the knees up in front. And let's relax. Let's do fencing exercise. Hands to the chest. Step the left foot forward and the right arm. <sighs> Double exhaling, tensing the right side. Double inhale back. Switch sides. <sighs> Last one. <sighs> Good. Large circles of the arms, a double breath, double inhale, squeezing up, double exhale, release down. <sighs> Reverse. <sighs> Lots of energy in the arms and shoulders. <sighs> Abdominal recharging, throw the breath out, hold it out, squeeze the abdomen against the spine. I'll put my hand there, don't, don't need to put your hand on yours, but just so you can see. Just come up for air when you need to and do it again. Third time through, let's pump in and out alternately, all the time with the breath held out, maximum movement both directions. <sighs> Double breathing. Two more. Calf recharging on the left side. Squeeze up, release, squeeze down. Two more. Ankle rotation, tension around the ankle, and reverse. Let's do the right side. Squeeze up and squeeze down. Ankle. Hip recharging in the left side, circling the left leg, the foot moving low to the ground, reverse direction. And the other side. And reverse. Finally, double breathing without tension, hands to the chest, relax, double exhale. Let the arms very relaxedly lengthen out in front. A double inhale. You bring the hands back to the chest. Just close the eyes, double exhaling and double inhaling in your own rhythm. Feel this as a Sort of a sensitivity exercise, sensitivity to the flow of life force behind every movement of the body, even the breath.
One last one. And relax the arms to the side. Just stand quietly, eyes closed, gaze turned up to the point between the eyebrows. And just feel the awakened life force augmented life force inside of you. Breathe it through the body. And start to feel that life force as a manifestation of divine grace, for it exactly is that. So what the techniques of yoga in, in one sense are about is, is to Use the life force to influence consciousness, to lift consciousness, so that it may receive God's grace. So I feel right now that, uh, that grace is here with you in this moment, ready to carry you into divine union. And you focus on this particular moment right now. This, not this moment of, of passing moments, but the now behind all the passing moments. That's what we want to focus on. That's where grace is. That's where God is. Let's do an asana to help bring us even more into that appreciation. Tola Trikonasana, balancing triangle pose. I'll do it off my knee. Now what we'll do, do, we'll do the full asana. If you can do the full one, ideal, but you want to be able to do something. So let's come on to the hands to your side, onto your left foot or left knee in my case. And then when you're ready, sweep the right arm up overhead, the right leg, lengthening back behind you, the whole body expanding in all directions expanding into the present moment. Silently affirm, I expand fully into this moment. I expand fully into this moment. One more breath. And let's release, come back to Upright, standing position, or on your knees, close the eyes and just feel yourself absorbed in the present moment. The past, the future, no more for you. This, now, is where God's grace is. Try to feel it like a gentle breeze, not around you, but through you. Let's do the other side of the asana now. If you're doing the full pose, both hands to the floor and stretch the left leg back behind you in line with your spine. Left arm up. Again, breath flowing smoothly, easily. All limbs lengthening, opening. Mentally affirm. I expand fully into this moment. I expand fully into this moment. One more breath. And let's release and come back to neutral position, either Tadasana or standing on your knees. Close the eyes. Just feel that moment of as life itself is in the present moment, never anywhere else. Let's do Parshvottanasana, side stretching pose. With the left foot forward and the right foot back, moderate distance, bring the hands 
behind you, palms together, fingers facing up, or if that doesn't work for you, have the hands in front, fingers facing up. Let's inhale, exhale, the long spine coming out over left leg. Keep the spine straight, back of the neck, long. Just lengthening the spine, one more breath. And as you exhale, release into the completed asana. Just let the upper body soften. And feel the magnetic influence of the hands directing energy through the spine toward the brain. Mentally affirm, I offer myself fully into the flow of grace. I offer myself fully into the flow of grace. the left knee now, inhaling, coming back, release the arms, inhale, stretch up and step forward, exhaling, relax arms down, Just close the eyes, and let's do the other side, stepping the left foot back this time, again, hands behind or in front, as you wish, let's inhale, Exhale, lengthen out over the right leg, long spine. Just one long breath here in this position. And let the next exhalation release you fully into Parsvottanasana. More important, into divine grace. Just feel grace is like a river flowing through your life. And you're offering yourself into that river of grace. Silently affirm, I offer myself fully into the flow of grace. Let's bend the right knee, inhaling, coming up. Release the arms, stretching overhead, exhaling. Relax arms down to your sides. Again, close the eyes in Tadasana. Feel it more and more, that, that present moment and divine grace are taking a larger and larger share of your attention. Let's do Virabhadrasana 1, Warrior 1 pose. Step the right foot way back. Come into lunging position, left knee over left ankle. As you inhale, sweep the hands forward and up. Opening chest upward, opening gaze upward. Keep the back of the right knee lifting. The whole body actively engaged. Like every part of you lifting up. Receiving divine grace is not a passive thing. It takes very active effort on our part. It takes will. Try to attune your will to God's will. And feel that will in your heart. And align yourself with it. And let's inhale, coming back to upright, straightening the legs, stepping forward, exhaling, relaxing arms back to your sides. Close the eyes and breathe easy. Silently affirm, I attune my will to the source of all power. Let's do the other side. Step the left foot back. In deep lunging position, inhale, sweep the hands forward and up. Open, lift the heart, lift the gaze. Again, silently affirming, I attune my will to the source of all power. And let's straighten up, inhaling, reaching up and forward, exhaling, 
Relax arms down. Close the eyes. Feel that sense of alignment, sense of attunement with divine grace, with divine will. They're not different. Let's come into sitting position now on the floor, perhaps with a cushion. We'll do Upavista Konasana. Seated angle pose. Spread the feet wide apart. And let's inhale. Reach up tall. Straight spine exhaling forward. Bring the hands to the floor or onto your legs. Either way. Nice long spine here for just one long smooth breath. And with the exhalation, relax the torso downward. Either hands walking out in front or first two fingers of each hand around the big toes. Allow the body to release. Easy, smooth. Just invite that grace into your life. Silently affirming, I welcome every opportunity for further growth. Two more breaths. See if you can open the spine and open the whole center of your body a bit more. And let's release and walk the hands back in, stretching tall with the inhale, exhaling, relax down into a comfortable cross legged position. Pause briefly. Let's come full length onto the floor, onto the belly now for Bhujangasana, Cobra Pose. Hands beside your chest, pelvis pressing into the floor, legs active. Let's inhale, lift, head, chest, using the back muscles. You can add some from the arms, but let the back muscles be the primary lifters and lift your whole being up as if lifting yourself to receive grace. Silently affirm. I rise joyfully to meet each new opportunity. And let's slowly release back down. Body soften. Well, let's come up onto hands and knees and come into a comfortable cross-legged sitting position for yoga mudra. Again, you can bring the hands behind you, palms together, fingers facing up the spine. Let's inhale, exhale. Long, open, out over the empty space in front of you, bringing forehead to the floor. If the forehead doesn't reach the floor, you want to make sure that it rests on something so you can let go completely. Once again, the energy of the hands, directing energy through the spine, through the medulla oblongata, the seat of ego, into the seat of spirit at the point between the eyebrows, the Christ consciousness center. Silently affirm, I am thine. Receive me. I am thine. Receive me. Now let's slowly come back to upright. Release the arms. Let's pause for a moment in the upright sitting position. 
Eyes closed, gazing still toward the spiritual eye. I am thine, receive me. Just offering ourselves into divine grace. Let's do one more asana, satubandhasana, the bridge pose. Get a blanket, folded blanket on the floor, lie down, shoulders on the blanket, head off. Knees bent, slide the feet in toward you, tuck the pelvis, and as you're ready, press the feet on the floor, inhaling, lifting pelvis, belly, chest upwards. You can interlace fingers underneath the body, roll onto the tops of the shoulders a bit more. Press the backs of the shoulders and arms and head into the floor, opening up. It's complete giving. Silently affirming, I offer every thought as a bridge to divine grace. I offer every thought as a bridge to divine grace. And let's release back down. If you like, you can hug knees to the chest for a moment to release the lower back. And then relax them and take the blanket out from underneath you if you're using one. Just lie back in Shavasana, corpse pose. Gaze toward the point between the eyebrows. Let the body soften away. How can you offer yourself gratefully into that divine presence in this position too? It's not hard.
Now let's slowly roll to one side and come up into a sitting position. It's the meditation portion of a class. Close the eyes, sitting upright. Turn your gaze to the point between the eyebrows. Just tune into your breath. Tune into the energy breath. The rising current as you inhale through the center of the torso, descending as you exhale. With each rising Inhalation current. Feel that you're offering gratitude back to the infinite source. And as you exhale, feel like you're letting go and allowing that energy to rise even farther. Gratitude is a sure way to draw divine grace. It's like completing an electrical circuit by touching two wires together. With gratitude, you complete the cosmic circuit of giving and receiving. You allow grace to come in through gratitude. And just lift your gratitude with the inhalation. With the exhalations, let go of it and let it continue to rise to spirit. One more breath in this way. And as you let go with the exhalation, let go of the breath completely and just stay with that rising sensation inside of you, that rising gratitude. Stay in this meditative state, eyes closed. As I share with you this quotation from Paramahansa Yogananda. Make it a meditation. 
There are many stones lying about on the ground, but very few of them are diamonds. Spiritual truths, similarly, are not easy to find amidst the confusion of human opinions. Divine grace is like the most precious of those rare diamonds. It is there to be found by all who will seek it diligently, but in order to find it, one must do more than glance through a few books or attend a few lectures. Grace cannot be found where people merely believe it to be. It must be sought in the right way, in the right place, and in the right spirit. The right spirit is an attitude of unconditional love for God. The right place is within yourself. The right way is in the silence of deep meditation. To find God, you must attune yourself to his way. Slowly open the eyes once again. As you go back into the rest of your activity for this day, let it feel divine grace always with you. Make your life an exercise in tuning into it. Joy to you.